Medical staff at a hospital in Sabha in Libya spoke on Saturday about the struggles they face in meeting the needs of their patients due to difficult living conditions. They also face difficulties in their work during the rule of Muammar al-Qadhafi and have been under intense pressure since the start of the conflict. Sabah Hospital is like any other hospital in Libya. All hospitals in the country have collapsed. Unfortunately, the former regime did not care for the law and order. So if a hospital couldn't function in normal circumstances, how can it be expected to function in a war? Injured fighters in Libya's conflict are among those being treated in the wards, alongside innocent civilians, including newborns. The United Nations has identified health care as a priority for Libya's interim authorities as they seek to restore stability. UN Undersecretary General Lembasco drew attention to four key challenges facing the National Transitional Council, beginning with addressing national reconciliation, unity and ensuring that all military groups are brought under unified commander and political authorities of NTC is carried out quickly. Local authorities have indicated an urgent need for health items, food, water and other assistance. Meanwhile, troops of Libya's new ruler seize control of Port and Sirte, Qadhafi's birthplace, in fighting with outside leader troops. The capture of the port, located in eastern Sirte, marks a strategic victory for anti-Qadhafi forces as they battle for control of Sirte, one of Qadhafi's last remaining strongholds. Ikram Al-Arabiya.